Hi, this is Mr. Bourne, your math teacher from Minnesota, and this video will show you how to use the TI-84 Plus to find the minimum and maximum of a quadratic function. Okay, so here's your function, and we don't know if this is a minimum or a maximum, but this is the function notation f of x, and here's our function x squared plus 3x minus 12. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to put it into, into the calculator into a form that makes sense. And it's going to look like this, x squared plus 3x minus 12, a lot like what we have above. Uh, the one difference I would say is that on the calculator, we don't have any lowercase letters to use. Almost everything is uppercase. So these uppercase x's will work out just fine. Now, on your calculator, this is the home screen. This is the screen that you do most of your calculations on. First thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to the y equals screen, which is uh, in the upper row of the keypad on the far left. It's the button marked y equals. And uh, when you press this button, if there are any functions in here already, you might just want to clear them out. Make sure you've got a blank slate to work with here. Now, before you begin graphing the function, a good thing to do is to reset the window coordinates to 10 in all directions. So you start this by pressing the zoom key in the middle of the upper row of the keypad. and choose number six. This is Z standard. What you'll get is uh, your graphing area, but there's no function yet because you haven't entered one. And as you can see, it goes up to 10 on the y-axis, down to negative 10 on the uh, y-axis, and to positive 10 uh, to the right on the x-axis, and negative 10 to the left on the x-axis there. So let's return to the y equals screen and put in the function. Now we're going to actually type in the equation so that we can graph it. Now the equation is x squared plus 3x minus 12 and here's how we put it in on the keypad. There's a key marked with x, t, theta, and n and a single press of this key will put in an x. The x squared key is on the far left of the keypad and then we just type in the rest plus 3x minus 12. All right, now let's take a look at what the function is going to draw here. Press the graph key on the upper row of the keypad. After a few moments, we get to see the, uh, the parabola, but uh-oh, look at this. It goes off the screen, but that's okay. The screen only goes down to negative 10, and it looks like the very minimum part of this function is smaller than that. So what we can do is we can go to the window settings, which is the uh, second key in from the left on the top row of the keypad marked window. Pressing window, we can now adjust the settings of the window so we can see the very bottom of that parabola of our, our quadratic function. Now it goes down a little bit here, so uh, let's adjust this. Our y minimum goes down to negative 10. It has to be more than that for us to see the very bottom. Uh, let's change this to negative 20. And I'm using the negative sign, not the subtraction symbol. And um, now that it's changed, um, I can press graph again. And it will redraw the function. And look at that. Here is the very bottom, the very minimum of our function. Okay, this will be good. Now here's how we find exactly where that minimum is. Begin by pressing the second key and then the key marked trace, again, on the upper row of the keypad. Second, trace. All right. Since this has a minimum to it, we're going to choose number three, minimum. And then press Enter. All right. Now, the left bound here is the calculator asking you, hey, I'm going to look for the minimum, but um, I can't look for on other, either side everywhere, so where should I look? Use the directional arrow key, press it uh, several times if you need to, and position the little tiny cursor, the blinking cursor there, just to the left of where the minimum is, and then press enter. And then it asks for the right bound, press the right arrow key on your keypad, anywhere to the right of the minimum, and then press enter again. 
All right, now at this point, the calculator is saying guess. You don't have to put in any value for this. You can just press enter a third time and it will find the minimum. And here we go, it's at coordinate negative 1.5 for our x coordinate and our y coordinate is negative 14.25. So there you go, that's how to find the minimum. All right, now let's take a look at a function that will have a maximum. Here's a function that'll have a maximum, and one easy giveaway is to see that we've got a negative symbol right in front of the first term here. The quadratic term is negative. That means that this will open downward and that we will have a maximum to this function. So here we are with our, um, our minimum. Let's go to the y equals screen, and let's clear this out. And we're going to put in the new function, negative x squared plus 3x plus 12. And let's graph this and see what we have. All right, now this equation goes higher than what we have the, um, the highest y maximum setting to. It goes uh, higher than 10, so we're going to have to adjust the window again. Press the window key, and this time we're going to change the y max to 20, and hopefully that will be enough. Press the graph key. It will redraw the graph, and okay, good. So here we have our function opening downward. We have a maximum, and very similar to what we did just a moment ago, we are going to press the keys second and then the key mark trace to bring us to the calculate menu. And instead of going for minimum, which would be useless in this case, we're going to choose maximum. Same procedure as before. The calculator is going to prompt you for a left and a right bound. So let's move our cursor a little closer here, mark the left bound, and then use the right arrow key to position it to the right of the tallest part of our parabola and then press the enter key a second time and then a third time, third time's a charm. And here is our maximum for this function. 1.499 and 14.25 on the y-axis here. Now one thing to note here, 1.499997, um, you can say that this is 1.5. What we are seeing from the calculator in this case is round off error. The circuits of the calculator are doing the best they can and it's it's finding the very uh, peak of the parabola by um, a different means than what you would see in an algebra class. It's using um, progressive approximation so it looks like uh, some decimals get lost there and it it gets awfully close but uh, again that's round off error so if you were to put an answer down on an exam, please do not put 1.49 with a little bar over it because your teacher will most likely mark you off on that. So put 1.5. All right, that's it for this video. Hope this helped.